Hey y'all, welcome to Sweet Tea and Butterflies. We are working on day 7 of the 12 days of Christmas. Today is gingerbreads. So I have one project for you because this everyday crafting, while it's fun, it's time consuming. So our hosts are Brenda with Rustic and Lace DIY and Krista with Krista's Crafty Life. And we are all just kind of whipping it out, trying to keep up day to day. But today is gingerbread day, and I almost skipped this one, but I had some, um, some of the Dollar Tree gingerbread things in my stash, and I've kind of tried to make it a goal this year to craft primarily my stash. Um, I mean, let's be honest with the amount of stuff I've got. I really don't need to buy anything else. I mean, I've got so much crap. I do. I've got, I have a shed full of stuff. So, I'm trying to craft my stash and I was like, you know, I could get something like this done pretty quick. Uh, so, I decided I'd go ahead and get this, you know, I'd go ahead and do the gingerbread because I had this gingerbread man. But, you know, I was sitting there for a while there, and I'm thinking, well, I don't want to just paint a gingerbread man, and, you know, I gotta do something with it besides just paint it. So I did figure out something I could do with it that was a little different from just painting it. And so we did. I took and I used... So at the beginning of the video, you saw, like, a long tag-like sign. Um, I left the original side alone, um, so it could be flipped around, except for the fact that my bow and my, anyway, I painted the back side of it with Waverly white chalk paint, waited for that to dry, and then I went over that with, um, with the apple barrel, was it apple barrel? Yeah. Apple barrel antique white. Uh, because I wasn't happy with the way the Waverly White looked on there. My paint's getting a little bit thick, and I didn't feel like waiting for another coat of really thick paint to dry, so... And I didn't want it stark white anyway, so I went with the Antique White. And put a coat of that over the Waverly White, and then, um... I painted the gingerbread man with, I think it's nutmeg brown. Yep, nutmeg brown. I, and I kind of find it interesting, y'all. I mean, I watch a lot of creators, um, especially being in these collaborations, uh, because one of the things with this is we all watch the entire playlist and we like and comment on each other's uh, videos. So I see a lot of gingerbread men, gingerbread, you know, whatever DIYs. And it just amazes me the wide span of the, the gingerbread colors, you know, um, I, I was watching from day one and there was uh donna i think did ornaments you know gingerbread face ornaments and she did a really light brown on it i've seen so many variations of different you know shades or uh, of brown on these so i just kind of find it interesting the um the spectrum and the, the, you know, how we all have a different take on stuff. So anyway, back to, I painted my gingerbread nutmeg brown because to me, gingerbread, I always thought was a darker brown. So that fits my vision of what gingerbread usually looks like. I painted it, the bow tie and the buttons, 
with uh, Real Red by Apple Barrel. And I used the Antique White on his little arms and legs there. And also to put the polka dots on his bow tie and, and to highlight his eyes and all of that. And I am looking at this um, and realizing that I forgot to put his mouth on. This is what happens when you cram pack uh, crafting all kinds of stuff um, every day. Anyway, I had not put the mouth on originally because I was going to use puff paint to do that. And if you watched yesterday's video or the day before, I don't even know. I'd had a mishap with, um, I got too gung-ho and ahead of myself with the puff paint. And it if you've ever worked with it, then you know it takes a while to dry. And I had jumped in there and started puff painting before I put my um, florals and all that on there and something slid down and right through the, anyway, messed it up. I had to fix it. So I was like, okay, no more puff paint until like at the very end so that once I get it on there, I can just set it aside to dry. <clears throat> Guess what? I forgot to go back and puff paint and draw his mouth. I'll leave a, I'll do that at some point and leave a picture with the mouth on it um, in my community tab. Because when I get done editing this video, I have to get on to the next project and get started making it. <clears throat> Maybe I'll uh, remember all of my little elements in the next project. Who knows? <laughs> uh, it's just the way it is around here some days. I work a full-time job, so in the evenings, you know, especially right now trying to do the 12 days of Christmas, in the evenings I am uh, running crazy. Trying to get it done. And here I go yawning again. I don't know what it is with me yawning while I'm trying to do a voiceover. So sorry. So I took this, um, and as you can see here, I took... Um, the gingerbread man and put him on the long tag sign. Took some of those little uh, peppermint miniature peppermint ornaments that you get from Hobby Lobby and placed them, you know, around on the sign. And then I had these cute, adorable little um, ornaments that look like gingerbread cookies on a cookie tray or, you know, a cookie sheet. I put those on each of his hands where he's holding, you know. And now I've got the this uh, burlap ribbon with the peppermints and stuff on it, which is really adorable. And where did I get that? I got that one at Hobby Lobby. So that's a Hobby Lobby ribbon. I've had it in my stash for a little bit. So, and actually, everything, everything, ah, hello, give myself a pat on the back, everything on this project I used from my stash. I didn't buy a single thing for this project. And actually, most of my projects I've done for this have been working out of my stash. If I bought anything at all for any of them, it was just like small embellishment type things, um... I think I may have bought a couple of small embellishments for <clears throat> for the ornaments, maybe? Heck, I don't remember what... Yeah, I did. I bought some small embellishment things for the ornaments um, on day one. But that's it. So, here we are at the final reveal. And I, I think he's adorable even without the mouth, but... The mouth is really going to set it off when I get around to going and putting that on. <laughs> what am I going to do with myself? Anyway, thanks y'all for watching and have a great 